So back in early October of this year, back in 2020 for those in the future, I contracted COVID-19. I'm not sure how I got it or where, but for the record, I would wear the mask in public, do the social distancing thing. And I mean, golly, I'm already something of an introvert, so I don't spend much time out to begin with. But whammo, there it was, coughing, sneezing, the muscle soreness, chills, and this weird esophageal burning. So went to my primary care doctor. He diagnosed, yes, I had it. And basically for me, it was two days of feeling really lousy with a mild flu, followed by seven days of what could best be described as meh. You just feel all sort of bland and warped, particularly if you're taking a lot of medication to kind of help with the symptoms. So it was during that time that I decided to go on Amazon Prime and check out the Paul Lind Halloween special. And man, let me tell you, when your brain is already cloudy from a pandemic pathogen, as well as from pharmaceutical goodness of NyQuil and similar drugs, Paul Lind becomes one of the funniest people on earth. Here comes Peter Tuck, up and down the bunny trail, hippity hoppity Easter's on its way. Mr. Lind. Don't tell me. It's, it's not, not Easter. <laughs> Margaret, go prune a tree. <laughs> And every time he would turn at the camera, he just gives it a big goofy grin. And when your head is clouded with drugs and COVID, it's just amazing. So the story goes on that Margaret Hamilton's character takes Paul in to this big mansion of another witch, and they become Witchy Poo and the Wicked Witch of the West. And then there's this convoluted series of wishes that he's given that lead us to different segments of the show. The first one is Paul becomes Ruby Red, the rhinestone trucker. And hey, Tim Conway is there too. And both are competing for the love of Roz Kelly, Pinky Tuscadero. I mean, this is just like an obscure time capsule of 70s celebrities. And to top it all off, Kiss shows up. They do a number of songs. And then later, Paul wishes to be a sheik in the desert, romancing Florence Henderson of Brady Bunch fame. Oh man, that combination of the flu and the meds just make this the most enjoyable thing ever. And all I'm going to say is, if you are in your right mind, don't watch this, because it's awful, yet amazing. It's currently on Prime, so I'll just say it's out there if you want it. And if you are recovering from COVID-19, I hope you get better soon, and I hope the medications help. But while you're recovering, I definitely urge you to go and check this one out. I hate to break this up, but I left my jacuzzi on fast forward. 